two of my friends in the internet world. This is your friend Jay Silva, also known as Background J. And yes, you read the title correctly. I am going to play an entire shoe of the, you know, of Bakra, okay, a deck uh, shoe, just to, uh, you know, to show the world a few principles. And I want to make sure that, you know, uh, I mean, I, I got to clear a few things before I start. I mean, I want to apologize to some people out there who are sensitive, especially females. I say, Jay, come on. You know, some of my students, they contact me and they say, Jay, what happened to you, man? You're cursing on the on, on the YouTube videos and stuff like that. Like, I mean, first of all, I wanna I wanna clarify this. Now that the YouTube uh, channel, they uh they want you to state if your channel is for kids or adults only, like 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 if it was porn. Okay, I chose my channel is not for kids. My channel is for adults, grown up, and come. I mean, you know, think about it for one second. We talking about we talking amongst gamblers, people who are normally degenerate gamblers i was I almost said the word asshole <laughs> i don't want to to touch any nerves out there okay so come on we are monks growing up but you know what they, they're right like some some you know i trained some amazing female players you know i uh laura just won the the, the tournament she the tournament the, the the contest okay she is a uh a poker professional poker player and she was happy that she won all right. So anyway, I want to say apologize to those of you who got offended. But, you know, you're going to have to brace yourself because more videos are coming like this. And, and you know what? I'm just so fed up with things that you hear and on the YouTube world of these so-called experts in background. And I, I, I'm going to clarify a few points here before I start playing the show. All right. Now, first of all, when on the portion that I'm going to play, I'm going to do a double speed type of deal. So all you have to do is go on your YouTube channel and settings and select on a speed, you know, video speed or playback speed, select half, you know, half of the speed, you know, half of the regular speed. So that way you are going to be able to watch the video and hear me talk or if you, if you just want to watch it real fast you can go ahead and watch it real fast you know you're going to miss some important things that i'm going to be teaching along the way and 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 you know and man you know i'm and not only that i'm going to answer questions i mean if you are a a, a you know a douchebag and you try to come hating because the haters are always there i always get those five dislikes all right <laughs> i get like 40 likes and five dislikes you know and also, I want you to share this video with the world because with what's happening in, in, in YouTube with all these so-called experts, professional players. All right, so check it out. So that's point number one. Adjust the speed of the, of the YouTube video so you can watch it on, on regular time on the portion that we're going to start playing, all right? Now, please pay close attention. I am not going to make a bet higher than three units whether it's on a negative or whether it's on a positive i guarantee i am going as high as a three unit bet that's point number one point number two i am not going to use a martingale i just i just said you know how can i martingale if i'm making my biggest bet ever three unit bet whether it's on a positive whether it's on a negative whether it's on the force whether it's on the ladder okay I am not going to flat bet. Flat bet is for cowards who don't know how to win. They are professional losers. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Okay, yeah, you. No, 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 don't look away. This you. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> All right. Now, and, and, and another thing. I am not going to table hop. Not because I make some profit. I'm going to remove myself from the table. I bet even worse. I'm not going to go to another casino. My sweet Lord. I am going to need to be able to read and, you know, and, 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 and there's some people out there and you guys, I'm not even going to mention this guy. Okay. But you guys know that you know, people said, oh, you, you cannot play an entire shoe with the same thing. Yes, I am. You know, all you got to do is make adjustments. Adjust, if your game is solid, if you are a winner, if you are a professional winner, because that's what I do when I train you. I train you, I, I start training a gambler, a degenerate gambler, and I turn you into a Baccarat winner. That's like what I said. When it comes to Baccarat, I am God. You hear it well. I am God. Jay Silva is Baccarat's God. All right? So, hey, prove me wrong. Watch my video. Maybe I lose here. Oh, my sweet Lord. What a shame. All right, so here we are. So now, all these principles, okay, are, are, are going to be debunked today. 
All right? No table hopping, no flat betting, no martingaling. Oh, my sweet Lord. And no free hands. There's, a, there's another cat out here, man, you know. It's, 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 I mean, I'm not even going to waste my time. All right? So, um, guys and girls, remember, if you want to train with me, okay, uh, I want to give you a heads up. It, it, we are about to adjust the prices for Perfect Sniper. Well, a Sniper SP Fleet Trilogy is $5,000. But uh, Perfect Sniper is going to go up in price, all right, to $3,500 very soon, maybe in the spring of this year, maybe sooner. I don't know. Okay, we're getting super busy, so we want to thin the herd a little bit, all right. And, and uh, also, my sessions uh, to my students, when they request, you know, private sessions, additional private sessions, they're going to go up in price from $500 an hour to $1,000 an hour. So keep that, keep that on mind. I mean, guys and girls. You guys go to the casino and you can lose three, five, ten, twenty, or more thousands of dollars. You know, people normally go to the casino with a three thousand dollar bankroll and lose it all, and they come out. You know, not it's like normal because they're already used to it. All right. So just you know, keep in mind, it's not that I'm expensive. Expensive is for you not not to know how to play the game and go to the casino and try to win or try to follow what these jackals out there in the YouTube world. It, it, it are telling you to to do and another thing guys and, and i will close this and i will move on to the portion that i will play the entire shoe check this out just think about it for a second casinos don't comp winners they comp you when you lose because they want you to keep coming back it's true if you got a lucky streak <laughs> If you want like a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars, you know, by luck, because they know who has a system. They they call us APs. They call us advantage players. I have three supervisors in my in my team of elite players. You hear Dumpty? Three. All right. Then what they try to do is keep you in house. They don't want you to come back. They don't want you to leave. They will give you anything and everything that your heart desire. Only because you got really lucky and they want to keep you in-house. But if you are a constant loser, then they want you back. And that's a come. They send you come. So if you see all these jackals on YouTube saying, oh, I got come. This, look at this magnificent room. And you have like the, the ironing board and like a bunch of crap on the floor. And you pretend to be a wealthy, you know, high roller, multi-millionaire player. Come on, man. You're straight out of trailer park. Get real, bro. Now, final thing. Casinos spend multiple millions of dollars on facial recognition software to learn to recognize APs, advantage players. And all of these jackals who show their faces on YouTube and they claiming they're, they're winners, just think about it, guys and girls. Makes no sense. Cuckoo, cuckoo. All right? So wake up. Stop listening to these losers who wants to convince you otherwise and learn how to play. And without that said, let's move on to the portion in which I'm gonna play an entire shoe. And remember, you're gonna need something to write with and pay close attention, all right? Thank you so much. Right, here we go, guys and girls. Please pay close attention, all right? Because we're gonna have lots of fun. I'm gonna play for the first time, you know, in, uh, in my YouTube channel. I'm gonna play an entire shoe from the beginning to an end. Before uh, I start playing, let me give you a few points of clearance. I'm using the fast speed. I gotta pick up a, a unit, which is a black chip that was normally uh, my, my, my base bed on, the, on my videos. And I need to get five decisions. So these five decisions, they don't count. They will count as free hands if you wanna call them that. Okay, so I have a player eight, banker nine, player nine, player eight, and banker eight, all right? So I have a player, banker, player, player, banker, player, banker, player, player, banker. Zero plus one, plus two, plus one, and plus two, all right? Now, I am going to play, okay, according to what my scope is showing me. I'm just going to go with the predominant side. Here we go. I'm going to go one unit on the player side and play your eight hit. I'm not changing my tables, guys and girls, <laughs> because I made one unit. That would be super stupid. And I am plus three in my TI count. And here we go. I'm going to bet three units on the player side. Here we go, guys and girls. And player eight hit. So I made four units in two bets, plus two is my TI, right? I'm going to go one unit on the banker side. Here you go. Banker eight. Oh, my bad. I didn't close this. Banker eight. I win. I am plus one. And plus three, my TI. And I'm going to do three unit bet on the player side. Let's see what happens. Ooh, come on. Let me just do the rebet. Banker nine. 
I am minus two here. I am uh, plus two. And I'm gonna do my two unit on the player side. Here we go, guys and girls. Player seven came. And I'm down to a zero here. Hold on, I'm zero here, but I am plus four units overall in the entire shoe. With a plus three TI count, it's showing me that this is what we like to call a slumping shoe. It's not traveling, it's not going heavy on the repeats, that will be a negative TI count. It's not going heavy on the, on the opposite, that will be a super high uh, positive TI. My TI is plus three so far, so I'm slumping, guys and girls. All right, so I'm doing just fine. I'm gonna go with one unit on the player side. Here we go, guys and girls. Player nine hit. I am plus one and plus two on my TI. I'm gonna place a three bet, a three unit bet on the banker side. Banker five hit. And that's because of the terrible twos. Hold on. I am plus four here. Plus three overall in my TI. But I made eight units of profit in seven bets, guys and girls. All right. This is a trigger up to this point on the banker two or the uh, banker nine. My bad. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, we, we like to call this a Morse code or a trigger number two. And as I'm playing the Tommy, and the Tommy so far is being very generous with me. So I'm just following what the, what the, the things I mean. I went base on banker and I won again. Banker nine. I won. I am plus one. Plus two on my TI. And I'm going to do a three unit bet on the player side. Let's see what happens. And banker five hit. I've lost. I am minus two. Plus one is my TI. And I'm going to do a two bet on the player side. Here we go. Banker eight hit. I am minus four. And I am at zero TI. All right. Hold on one second. And da -da -da. let me move into the broom because the broom is safe. Here we go. Uh, player six hit. Uh, here we go. Okay. Plus one is my TI. And I'm going to do two unit bet on the player side. I'm sweeping. And there we go. Player nine hit. I am minus three here. And I am zero on my TI. Here we go. So far, I am five units up, all right? So pay attention, please. Here we go, guys and girls. Banker 8 king. Here we go. And I am plus one on my TI. And here we go, guys and girls. I'm going to do two units on the banker side. Come on. Player 8 king. king. I am minus six plus two on the TI. I'm going to do three units on the player side. And player hit. Here we go. Hold on one second. And I am plus one. All right. I'm going to do... Hold on. I'm going to go two units on the player side. I'm just getting tired of this. I mean, I, I, I wish I could... You know, I would be doing... Uh, okay, player six hit. I win. And I am at zero TI. Hold on. And I got a sequential result. All right. I, I mean, so far I am seven units up. I play uh, 16 hands. All right, so here we go. Uh... I'm doing one unit on the player side. Come on, man. So far, we have four ties. It's just ridiculous. Player seven hit. Okay. I close this one. Minus one on my TI. All right? And I do a three unit on the player side. And player five hit. Okay. Hold on. And I am minus two here. Now I close this game. And I have a dragon tail. So I'm going to go base on the player. I'm sweeping here because I'm using my broom. It's player 6. Sweet. I am plus 1. Minus 3 is my TI. And overall, guys and girls, I am 12 units up. No need so far to because I make profit. This is normal. I, mean, I expect to make profits. I play, I make profits. You see, my biggest bet so far has been 3 units. At any given moment, negative or positive. I will not go anything higher. Guaranteed, I will not, I will not go anything higher than 3 units. Okay? Uh, I'm not Martin yelling. I'm not, I'm not doubling up as I lose. It would be impossible, right? Uh, I'm not table hopping, not because I made one, two, I mean, I mean, so far I made 12 units in profit, and I'm not switching tables. I'm not closing this shoe because I made profits, do you understand? So just, you know, be cool and pay attention, please. I'm doing a three unit bet on the player, and player six hit. Hold on. And I am four units up, minus four is my TI, and so far I went from a slumping period to a, a sweeping period, right? I mean, it's sweet. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm having fun. I made, uh, in 20 bets, I made 15 units, which is... Unbelievable, and I continue. I got a nice dragon tail. I'm gonna go one unit on the pl beautiful. My dragon tail is broken. Uh, hold on. And uh, banker, but one banker what came? Hold on. Banker five. Man, this 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 simulator is so amazing. I am minus one here. Hold on. Minus three in the TI. 
And I'm going to do two units on the banker. Here we go. Player 19. I am minus 3. And I am minus 2 in my TI. And... Hold on one second. Ooh. Okay, hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I went okay. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's fine. I got to do a uh, one unit on the player. Here we go. Banker 19. Okay, hold on one second. Minus one is my TI, and I see something is changing. So, I'm going to go two units on the player. Here we go, guys and girls. Player four hit. And player four. I win. Okay. Zero my TI. I'm going to do one unit on the banker. Here we go. Player nine hit. And I am minus three. Hold on one second. Minus one is a TI. I'm going to do two units on the banker side again. Banker five hit. And everything is just beautiful. Everything is peachy. The world is my oyster. Second sequential result. And I'm going to go base on the player. Here we go, guys and girls. Banker 9 hit. And minus 1 TI. I'm doing two units on the player. I have a trigger number 2 here. Let's see what happens. Player 6 hit. And everything is back to normal. Hold on. I just want to make a stop here. Zero. Now, check this out, guys and girls. I am uh, 28... 20, like normally, normally we can get a 78 to an 80 hand shoe. I am 28 hands in with a profit of 15 units. My biggest bet so far has been three units, either on the negative or on the positive. And I promise you, I guarantee it, I will not go up to any higher than three units. All right, I don't need to. Once again, I'm not using the martingale. I'm not uh, doubling up as I lose. I'm not table hopping. I'm not flat betting. Flat betting is for stupid, retarded assholes. All right. So here we go. Uh, banker seven came and I win. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I lost my bet. My bet, my bet, my bet, my bet. I went uh, one unit on the player. Hold on. One unit on the player. Banker 7 came and I've lost minus 1. Plus 1 is my TI. All right. And hold on. I got to do two units on the banker. Here we go. And banker 7 hit. Man, this thing repeats a lot. And I am plus 1. I made another unit. Second sequential result. Zero my TI. On my frequency, I have used my first side. I have 30 bets. With 16 units profits, guys and girls, all right? I'm starting a brand new game. I'm, I'm, I'm using, now I'm moving to combo number two, all right? I'm doing one unit on the player side. The player nine hit. Player nine hit. I won. I am plus one. My TI is plus one. Nothing by slumping, guys. You know, it's just, it's not going anywhere. Do you know what I mean? It's not, my, my TI is not traveling, so I'm just playing it cool. I'm going to do my three unit bet on the player and player nine hits again. Because of my TI. My TI is showing me where this thing is going. And I am at zero. And made another four units. Overall, I am 20 units in 32 bets. <sighs> okay, I'm not, I'm not even going to go there. Okay. 20 units in 32 bets, and I continue. I'm going to go one unit on the banker. Here we go. Player 8 came. And I've lost that one. I am minus one in my TI. And I'm going to do two units on the banker side. Player 8. I am minus three. And I am minus two on my TI. Right? I'm going to do a one unit on the player side. Banker six came. I've lost that one. Minus one, my TI. Here we go, guys and girls. I'm going to do two units on the banker side. Banker five hit. I win. And I am minus two and minus two. I'm going to go one unit on the banker side. Here we go, guys and girls. Player eight came. Minus 3 and minus 1. And I'm going to do 2 units on the player side. Banker 8 came. I am minus 5 and 0 on my TI. Here we go, guys and girls. 3 units on the banker side. Player 6 came. I am minus 8. Plus 1, my TI. And I'm going to do 3 units on the banker side. Player 8 came. I am minus 11 here, and I am at 0 on my TI. Hold on one second. I right, check this out, guys and girls. Even though I am minus 11 on this micro game, okay, I've lost this micro game, all right? But I have 9 units to show for it. And I'm about to start a brand new game, all right? I have played so far 40 hands. I'm literally right there, you know, smack on in the middle of the shoe. And I have 9 units to show for it. And that's because I lost an official loss, which is almost, you know, very difficult to have. But you know what? It's fine. Uh, what I see here is that my predominance is flipping and I was playing in the room. It's okay. I mean, once again, I have to, I have to keep very important, very heavy concentration. So, you know, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not blaming the fact that I'm, I'm playing and making the video. But, you know, it's, uh, 
when I play, I like to concentrate and focus on my game. So I'm going to start doing my flip. So I'm doing one unit on the banker. Banker came. And I win, I am plus one. Plus one, the TI. And I'm going to do a three unit bet on the banker side. Here we go, guys and girls. And banker nine came. Hey, I'm up for units again. Plus four and a zero again, right? Now I have a trigger number two. I'm going to go one unit on the player. Banker seven, okay? Hold on one second. Banker seven. Minus one and minus one. And I'm going to do two units on the player side. Banker one. Minus three, minus two. All right, my game is still flipping, guys. So I'm just going to move, you know, continue on the flip. Banker six came. I am minus four and minus three. And I'm going to do two units on the player side. Here we go, guys and girls. Player eight, back to normal. That's all it takes. And I am minus two here. All right. I'm going to go one unit on the player. Player five. Okay, here we go, guys and girls. Minus three is my TI, right? And I have a first sequential on it. Here we go, player seven. Hold on, minus four is my TI. Look, once again, 13 units in uh, 48 bets. Not bad. Uh, counting that I had an official loss of minus 11 units, all right? Otherwise, I will be, uh, shucks, I will be 13 and 11, I will be 24 units up, all right? Not a big deal. I continue, I'm going to start sweeping. I'm going to go based on player. Oh, I didn't close that. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't close my previous game. Um, player what game? I'm sorry. And I just love, I just love backer. I win for player six. I win. I am plus one. Hold on. Minus five, my TI. My TI count is something magnificent, guys and guys. I'm going to do my three units on the player side. Player eight came. I am plus one. Minus six. I'm sorry, plus four. Minus six. Overall, I am plus 17 units in 50 bets. Now, I'm going into two-thirds of my shoe with plus 17 units. All right, guys and girls? And I have consecutive... And, and this is another thing, you know, when people said... When the haters and the, and the, and the, and the hunties and, the, you know, the people from the from forums or the so-called Bakra experts out there who are, um, you know, watching my videos because those are my biggest fans. They said, oh, but, you know, if you get a, a banker dragon tail and then you get a player dragon tail, you will lose your ass. Yes, I said ass. I said, no, I just prove it to you. I just follow the rhythm of what the shoe is selling me. My TI count right now is a minus six. All right, so I'm going to start. Let me close this micro game. And I'm going to go one unit on the player side again. So I'm accommodating. I'm, I'm adjusting to the game. Player six came. I am plus one. Minus seven TI. And I'm going to do three unit bet on the player side. Here we go. Player A, another four units. I am plus four here. And minus eight in my, uh, what should I call it? My TI count. Overall, I am 21 units up in 52 bets, guys and girls. I have a nice dragon tail on the banker. We're following a nicer dragon tail on the player. And just continue. I'm going to do one unit on the player side. Banker seven came. Not a big deal. My dragon tail is over. I activate my 1x protocol. All right. And I am minus seven on my TI. All right. Check this out. I'm going to do my two unit bet on the banker side. Here we go. Banker six hit. And I made, I pull another unit. Plus one, minus eight is my, uh, what should I call it? Minus eight is my TI. All right. I'm just going to go one unit on the banker side and banker nine hit. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I keep forgetting to close its games. My bad. I win. I am plus one. Minus nine is my TI. Here we go, guys and girls. I'm going to do three units on the banker side. Player 9 came, not a big deal. Minus 2 is my, uh, what should I call it? My money count, hold on. Minus 8 is my TI. I'm going to do a 2 unit bet on the player side. Play attention, guys and girls. Banker 8 came. Minus 4, minus 7 TI. And I'm doing a 1 unit bet on the banker side. Banker 9 came. Here we go, back to normal. Minus 8 is my TI. Hold on, my bad. And here we go. I'm going to do a two-unit bet on the banker side. Banker 9 came. And I have a first sequential result. Minus 9 is my TI. I'm going to go one unit on the banker side. Ooh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, guys and girls. Okay, here we go. Uh, one unit on the banker side. Let's see what happens. Banker 8 came. I close this micro game. I am at zero here. Minus 10 TI. Wow. Very telling shoe. All right? But if, if, if you notice, guys and girls, look, we are the... Shots, 60 bets. We have played 60 bets. Overall, we have played 69 hands, four ties. Uh, the ties didn't hurt us. We didn't lose any money there. And the most important thing is I am uh, 
22 units up in 69 hands. 60 of those I have play, and so far we, we're doing just beautiful, all right? Let me uh, do a banker based on banker. Banker 7 hit. Hold on one second. And I win. I am plus 1. My TI is minus 11, guys and girls. And I'm going to do a 3 unit on the banker side. Player 9 came. Not a big deal. Minus 2 is my, uh, what should I call it? My money count. My TI is minus 10. Very telling TI, guys. Very, <coughs> hold on one second. Very easy to read and easier to play. Here we go. Let me do a 2 unit bet on the player side. Banker 7 came. And I am minus 4 here. Minus 9 on my TI. Let me do a one unit bet on the banker. Here we go, guys and girls. Banker 9 came back to normal. Everything is peachy. All right, here we go. Minus 10 TI. Okay, no sequential just yet. Let me do uh, this thing. And here we go. Two units on the banker side. Ah, oh, come on. Here we go. Banker 8. And I have a sequential. So, man, this is sweet. I mean, minus 11 TI. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. 75 hands. I, I believe we are very close to the end. 75 hands overall. Let me do a one unit bet on the banker side. And player 7 hit. Not a big deal. I am minus 2 in this micro game. Minus 10 in the TI count. And let me do a two unit bet on the player. Ah, come on, man. Shucks. Player 9. Okay. I was going to say, that's the end of my game. No, that's not the end of my game. Player 9. And you know what? I close this micro game because I just finished this micro game. I am at 0 here. Minus 11. TI count. All right, let me close all my games here. And hold on one second. Okay, 78 hands, guys. I mean, I, if, if, the, if the next one's not the cutting card, something is wrong here. All right, here we go. I'm going to go one unit on the player's side. And, ah, come on. This is ridiculous. Banker 8 came. I've lost. Okay. Hold on. Minus 1 here. Minus 10 on my, um, what should I call it? Minus 10 on my TI. And I'm going to do two units on the banker's side. And banker 8 hit. I pick up another unit. Plus one in this micro game. I'm going to close this micro game. Minus 11. My TI. Oof. 81 hands, guys. And we have played 69. Li li listen to this. Listen to this. Out of those 81 hands, we have seven ties. And we observe five decisions, which is 12. Okay? So, 69 hands we have played. And we have made so far 23 units in profit. I have a trigger number two. So, I'm going to go one unit on the player side. And banker six came. People said, you should be staying on the bank. I said, no. It's okay. I went based on the player. Banker six. Minus 1 in this micro game, and I am minus 12, and I'm going to do 2 units on the player side because I have an active trigger. Here we go. Player 8, there you go. I pick up another unit. I know that, okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about this. Plus 1 here, minus 11 on the TI. Let me close this entire micro game because I make profit here. And, uh, alright. Wow, 83 hands. We are 24 units on top, okay, and I'm, I'm still playing the Tommy. Here we go. Banker 7 hit. Uh, what happened? Did I get, did I get, uh, a cutting card? Hold on. Plus I minus one here. Minus ten on the TI. Did I get a cutting card here? Yeah, I think, I think I got the cutting card. Because not that my, my, my thing is up. So, 84 hands. Hold on. Let me just make sure. I'm supposed to do two units on the banker. Hold on. Can I? I'm afraid that if I, if I make this bet, it will start a brand new show. I don't, normally I don't play, I haven't played, literally this is my first... Full uh, shoe in in, in backward Wimpro, so I'm a little concerned that if I do this, you know, we played uh, 84 hands so far. Should I do it? Cards left six, yeah. That's not it. That's not yeah. Three and three, yeah. I, I think I can I can do okay. If it gets erased, I mean you guys can you know back up a little bit and you can see it. I'm supposed to do on the Tommy. I'm supposed to follow up with a two unit bet on the banker side. Oh no 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 no. Look, I don't have the button to deal. You know to deal the hand. Only to oh man, this is amazing, guys. JC bro, you guys just outdid yourself. Look, I can save the shoe now. For future, uh, you know, study. If I want to study this shoe, it's, it's nothing. It's, just, it's, it's the bomb, man. This thing is freaking amazing. All right, let me uh, remove this thing. Now, check this out. Let me recap a little bit. Woo! 84 hands. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was <laughs> My assistant is laughing at me here. Uh, I was writing when the thing came out. <laughs> when the cutting card came out. I don't even know if the cutting card actually shows. But I know that the shoe is over because the buttons, you know, to, to rebed or to, to place a bed are gone. I only have the option to save the shoe, which is amazing on its own. Now, check this out, guys and girls. Um... Uh, here we go. 84 hands dealt, which is very normal, corresponding to an 8-deck shoe, alright? 39 players, 38 bankers. Pretty even game. 7 ties. I hate them ties. I mean, I wish I could have I done the, what should I call it? <laughs> the guns and the grenades and all that, alright? Now, check this out. Me, I play out of this 84 hands. Remember, we burned 5 cards in the beginning. 5, alright? 5 cards in the beginning. Now. 
Whew. This is fun. I'm, I'm gonna make more of these. I guarantee you guys are gonna check this out. Now, <clears throat> I burned five cards, and normally that's what, at, at best, that's what the casino will give you. They don't give you unlimited, you know, burn cards. If you play super high roller VIP, which in some, some occasions I have played, you know, I have people who, you know, investors who say, hey, Jay, uh, we wanna go play at this place and we're gonna do like XX, you know, amount of like zeros in, in the base base. I say, hey, no problem, man. We, you know, we, we, we go in percentages. Now, check this out. Now, whew. 72 bets. I played 72 hens for a total, total of 23 units in profit, all right? Like I was talking in the beginning, and, and, I, and I made, you know, clear of this point. I do not martingale. Martingale is just super stupid. I do not flatbed. Flatbed is for cowards. You don't know how to play the game if you want to flatbed. I don't take breaks and I don't table hop. I need this information. I hope the Humpty Dumpty is listening and, and all the rest of the midgets, you know, the happy, happy go lucky, uh, you know, ferret people, okay, are listening to this, all right? Yes, you can play an entire shoe. I can do this all day, all night, seven days a week, 365 days a year if I wish. Obviously, there will be no casino that will allow me to play. Another thing, guys, stop listening to these people who, who tell you that they're winners and they show on their face. Casinos spend millions on software, of face, you know, face recognition software to learn who's a winner and who's not. So just the, the fact that these people are showing you their faces, that means they're losers, especially if they're getting comped. You know, some people said, well, at least I'm playing, you know, I'm playing on getting comps. I said, no, man, if you win, you don't need comps. You can pay for anything and everything and then some. All right? So I'm ranting here. So guys and girls, well, I don't want to make this thing. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, and, and this thing, I'm, you know, I'm going to play on double speed so you guys can actually see it fast. You can go on YouTube and you can, you know, adjust the speed of the video and you can do half the speed so you can actually watch this portion of the, of the what should I call it? Of the play on the entire shoe. So thank you so much, man. We made we made 23 units in a shoe, in in, in 72 hands. Nice, very nice. A little low. I mean, I wish you know. I wish I didn't had that. Okay, another thing. I had an official loss. People say, oh, you're a lying piece of you know, you're a lying piece of shit. Let, let's you know, not, no more. <laughs> My videos are no longer for kids. YouTube knows that. So if you're a grown up, if you're an adult, you know, we're talking about amongst degenerate asshole gamblers. Most of them are watching them. All right. If you want to stop being one, it's okay. You can learn. Now check this out. People say, you never show us when you lose. You just saw it. I had an official loss, 11 units. If I didn't lose that, I would have been 34 units up. And you know what? It's rare that I have an official loss. But, you know, they happen. They can happen. Not a big deal. All right, guys and girls? So, thank you so very much. I really, really enjoy this. I'm going to make more videos, okay? Playing entire shoes. So, please, okay? Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And I will see you guys training on uh, Perfect Sniper or Sniper Exit Flip Trilogy. All right? So, thank you so very much. And remember, okay? My biggest bet ever that I used today was three units. You guys witnessed this, okay? So, yes, it is possible. The game of background is beaten. Yes, I can beat the game of background at my own will every single time, and I'm not afraid to show it. Thank you so very much, guys and girls, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.